Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to be talking about Fleming's left hand rule and electromagnetism. Imagine that we have a current carrying wire which we've placed in an external magnetic field. Uh, for the purposes of this video, let me just uh, remind you guys that this symbol over here means that something is directed into the screen, and this symbol here means that something, such as this magnetic field, is uh, directed out of the screen. For instance, we have this uh, magnetic field, and that is pointing into the board. So we have this wire that is running a current that is going over to the right. This wire will experience a force. We know that the magnitude of that force will be given by essentially F is equal to bill, F is equal to your magnetic flux density times the current times L. However, we also know that the direction of the force will be upwards. Well, how do we know the direction of the force? Well, this is where Fleming's left hand rule comes into place. Let's have a look at it. Fleming's left hand rule says that if we take our left hand, our first step is really, really important. We need to be using our left hand. We're going to get opposite results if we use our right hand. So we take our left hand and uh, if we orientate our fingers as shown in this diagram, the thumb will give us the direction of the motion. In other words, this is the direction of the force that the wire is going to experience. Our first finger will give us the field and our second finger will give us the direction of the current. Well, Let's have a look at the case that we looked above as an example of Fleming's left hand rule. By the way, guys, looking at this uh, thumbs up over here, this reminds me, remember to like this video while you are studying about Fleming's left hand rule. Now, anyways, let's apply Fleming's left hand rule to the example that we demonstrated above. So just up here, uh, I told you guys that if we have a current which is going to the right and the field is going into the screen, then the force on the wire will be upwards. It will be a challenge for me to try and explain this in two dimensions, whereas this really is a three-dimensional problem. So one upwards, one in and out of the board, and uh, another one, let's say, left or right. So those are the three dimensions. But let's try anyways. You're going to have to imagine this picture, this two-dimensional picture in 3D. The easiest way would be actually to get involved in this video and would be to, number one, take your left hand, number two, thumbs up, number three, make a coordinate system with your fingers as shown in the diagram, align your second finger with the current, your first finger should be pointing into the screen. And you're going to see that the force will be pointing upwards. In general, anytime we are faced with a left-hand rule problem, what we need to do is some aligning. If we're given the current, we're going to align our second finger with the current, then we need to align uh, our first finger with the field and then determine where the force is. Okay, folks, well, hopefully this video clears up Fleming's left-hand rule. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you very much for watching.